good evening and welcome to the first tournament game here at Mansfield High School of the Mansfield Hornets and your Whitman Handsome Lady Panthers. I'm Bob Hayes along my broadcast partner Don Ford and bringing you this WHCA production of the first tournament game between the 16 and 5 Mansfield Hornets and the 12 and 8 Lady Panthers. Dawn, what do you think we're going to see tonight? This is going to be a run and gun game. It's the first game out. It's the sixth seed against the eleventh seed. Yeah, I think the the Panthers have been uh, playing a lot better later in the season. I I expect a good game from. I see they got Brittany Gasica back playing. She's been out injured, so I expect a good good uh, good showing from the Panthers. Although Mansfield's usually a pretty tough opponent. Well, we should see a, fin a fast paced game here this evening over in Mansfield. We're on the road. And we have our uh, cameraman with us tonight, John Galvin, who's filming this production for Whitman Hanson Community Access. In about 10 seconds, we should be seeing the tip off here at Mansfield, so we're ready to go. Should be an action packed game between the Panthers and the Hornets. And no, Don, it's not the Green Hornets. It's, it's not the, the Green Hornets. I thought it was the Green Hornets. No. The Hornets get first possession. Uh, Pieta's a plan man to man. Looks like they came uh, getting after it here, really. Yeah, we're going to see a little bit different game, I think, tonight. As you know, in tournament time comes, we got the first foul. Yeah. Fouls on 24, Hannah Damon. Yeah. Looks like the Beansfield, uh, 24 and 11, uh, look like twin sisters out there. Yeah, it's Bernardillo, Cara, and uh, Madison Bernardillo. We had 11 at the line. Yeah, that's one of the sisters. A lefty. And she makes the second one. To Mansfield draws first blood. All right, so Damon brings the ball up. Kachich is back tonight for tournament. She was hurt. She hurt her uh, foot. Her foot. I think she yeah. fractured one of the bones in her foot. Yeah, she's a key Passes player for to them. Damon back to OJ. Back to Damon. Over to Gachicha. We got the clock winding down here. I hear the crowd. Going to have to shoot uh, the ball. OJ shoot, shoots it up. Oh. And we Shot got a clock possession violation, change. first possession. Mansfield's playing a zone. It doesn't look like the Panthers are... Uh, Adjusting too well to start with. Well, it's early yet. It's going to be kind of a feeling out process. You got to get yeah. back on D. Yeah. It's a Mansfield three misses. Olivia Martin gets that first rebound. Martin comes out with the ball, and uh, the Panthers are back on offense here in Mansfield. It's like we got a little zone play coming out of the out of yeah, the Hornets. Man, Mansfield's playing zone, and we're not. Uh, Martin up with a three, just misses. Well, she's a pretty good three-point shooter, so maybe if she hits a couple, it'll loosen things up. But little reverse action. Uh, Martin draws the foul. Puts 42 at the line for the Hornets. She misses the first one. Yeah, she's 5'11". She's their, uh, she's their center. She hits the second one. Yep, so 2-0. left in the first period here at Mansfield. The score is Mansfield Hornets 2. Your Lady Panthers 0. There you go. Nice move by Gachicha. Nice move. Get in there. Back up, and Gachicha oh, throws yeah. one in. Uh, see, they really missed that when she was out. That was just oh, a nice, nice oh. rebound by Gachicha. We got a little three and one going here. Well, there you go. And a miss. You've got to uh, box out here. Yeah, two Gachicha. offensive rebounds, and she finally converts it. If you don't box 42 out, 
we're going to see a high scoring game today. Yeah, she's going to give you trouble. Panthers are just working outside the three point arc and working it. Damon throws up a three. Uh, not today. Gonna take a charge there. Catherine Dunn comes down with a rebound. She pushes it up, but no numbers. They're gonna have to penetrate a little bit here, Dawn. I think uh, it's early going. Everybody's feeling them. Feeling this game Kasinga. out because into Gachicha. Oh, nice pass inside, but she gets called for a travel. 4.59 left in the first period here in Mansfield. The score is the Hornets 4 2 to 2. Oh, Lady there you Panthers, go. Nice. nice little uh, flip there. Yeah. We got a foul. Well, they're, extending, they're extending their you know, full court uh, pressure, and uh, that's twice they've got the hands on the ball. So here to Damon uh, go on the line here. Damon's going to the line for two. She misses the first one. She hits the second one. We got a 4-3 game here, Dawn. Yeah, we're hanging tough. They're in there 1-2-1-1 one, one, one press. are on a full court press. Yeah. I saw nice so by, by, nice the lady by uh, what was that OJ twenty one? Get back on defense. I'll get the there you go, Olivia. Nice rebound by Martin. Yep. There you go. Nice little inside. Nice interior pass by Olivia Johnson. Yeah. Uh, Dunn's going to be going yeah, for Dunn line. going for two. And that's the is that the second foul on 42? Yes, it is. That's her first. Dunn gets the first one, ties it up. Dunn gets a second yep, one with 417 both. left in the first period. The Panthers yep, take the well, lead. Well, they Five back four. off. They back off their press. They had good, you know, they had two turnovers in a row with it. <clears throat> Reese Cadero just came into the game. She replaced OJ. He tried to pick off. It's good defense, Damon, by but she oh, wasn't yeah. having it. It's on the floor. There you go. Who's that? Catherine, uh, Catherine Dunn on the uh, floor ties it up. Panther ball. You like to see it. Panthers keep playing tough D. That might be the key to winning this game. Oh, yeah, always is. Play tough D, get on the floor, get the loose balls, you'll be all right. Cadero throws up a three and it just misses. Yeah. They better get the ball inside to Gasica. Oh boy. You gotta D that up. Yeah, it just drives right to him. Somebody's gotta stop that. Damon takes it to the hoop. What a 6 5 game here with the Hornets edging the Panthers with three minutes left in the first period. Catherine, Catherine Dunn picks up the foul. It's at the uh, third team. Third team. It almost looked like she got picked off and was trying to go through the pick. Yeah, she tried to fight through the screen. And... The Hornets are pretty, uh, that worked the last time. Yeah. 
Uh, another foul on the Panthers. I think that's on Brittany 32. Kachika. 32 or 23? I think it's 23. Puts yeah, number four the, at the line. That's her first foul. You got sophomore Riley Howell, uh, Hollow coming into the game with senior Megan Hennigan. Yeah, she hits them both from before. Uh, Mansfield's full court press here. Got a timeout call by Whitman yeah, Hanson with a yeah. break in the action here at Mansfield. Yeah, Two thirty-three left in the first period. Yeah, strapped her in the corner. She picked up a dribble. You really. Got to dribble out of that or you need know, to get help. That's not where you want to be. 2.33 left in the first period here at Mansfield with the Mansfield Hornets, eight. Whitman Hanson Panthers, five. This time of the year when it's tournament time, you never know how these games are going to go. Both of these teams obviously have come here to play today. Well, they're in the tournament, so they're the better teams in their... Uh, in the, in the in the, in the leagues and uh, expect good games. Well, you got a six seed playing an 11 seed and you got an 8-5 score with 233 left in the first period. Both teams have had good years and yes, they have. Looking to continue. Ball's inbounded to Dunn. Dunn brings the ball up. Oh, you got Olivia. Uh, knocked out by Mansfield, so it's a Panther ball underneath. Martin gets a second foul. Yeah. Number four is not afraid. She's not bashful. She's not afraid to go to the hoop. No, she looks like a scorer. Hits her free throws. Martin comes out of the game, brings in senior Leah Badger. Dunn comes down with the ball and throws a long pass to Reese Cadero. The Panthers set up again. They need a hoop. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Three pointer goes up. Yeah. But they're not getting. They're not getting any offense. They're just, you know, even up threes at the as the clock runs down. Yeah, they're rushing the shot. Yeah, it's obvious. Yeah, they need to get the ball inside. Darrow's brings the ball up, passes it to Dunn. Dunn to Hennigan. There you go, get Into inside here. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Nice Dunn rebound. Comes down with the yeah, ball. See, there you go. Number four. Get it inside the badge, even though she missed the layup. Uh, Catherine Dunn hit the board and uh, now she's at the line. That's what you gotta do. Puts Catherine Dunn at the line. That's the first one. Misses the second one. Hennigan just missed getting that rebound. She kind of patted it and went out of bounds. 
Yeah, you got to go after it with two hands. It's a good D there. Good D by uh, Hollow. Hollow, yeah. It's a missed three by Mansfield, but they get the offensive board. Codero's relentless. She went after that ball. Did you see her jump right on the ground? I mean, yeah, but oh, we got another foul. 44. Fouls on Hennigan. Next one is going to put the Hornets in the bonus. Oh, here's the boys' team. 42 gets the first one. A little support for the girls. It's about five or six of the Panther Varsity boys just strolled in. Oh, yeah. She's got them both. She's got a nice little shot, number 42, for the Hornets. Yep. 31 seconds left in the first period here in Mansfield. Score is Mansfield Hornets 11, Lady Panthers 6. That's a second travel call to Guchichi. She got kind of trapped in there in the corner. Yeah, but nobody's moving, you know. She's got two people on her. Somebody should be open. There nice we go. Nice intercepted by Catherine Dunn. Oh, she she gets up, misses it. Guchichi comes down with it. And it's good. Nice, nice follow puts up it by Guchichi, two. yeah. But the press, uh, that's three times they've turned it over with that full court press. I mean, it's 11-8, and that's pretty much... Uh, They've scored at least two of their four hoops off of that. Well, at the end of the first period here at Mansfield, the score is Mansfield Hornets 11, Your Lady Panthers 8. Don, it was a pretty quick period. I mean, you've got a six-seeded team against an 11 seeded team, and I didn't see any of this runaway talk that I thought we were going to see at the beginning of the game. No, oh, it's a competitive game. Very competitive. Yeah. Uh, I, I haven't seen any reason to think we Panthers can't compete here. Lady Hornets have some really good players, and the Panthers have, and they're, they're both uh, after it with eight minutes. You know, beginning yeah. of the second period, it's 11 to 8. Yeah, it's a good start. To a, should be a good game. The Hornets are very patient. You notice when they bring the ball up, they're pretty patient in how they move the ball around. Yeah, they're trying to get the ball inside more. I think we need to do the same. But, um, but we do. I mean, when we do, we have good luck. I mean, because Kasika and, uh, and Dunn, both good inside players, good passers. Well, second period action here, and the Hornets have the ball to start the second period. Maroth. There you go. The pressure the from the over. Panthers turns the ball over. Yep. Yeah, good defensive pressure. And you see Coach Rogers come in with the rest of the boys, Voss. He must be buying them dinner or something to get them all to come, huh? Well, you know, I, I think they're just coming to support him. I don't think there was any bribe involved. Oh, okay. The Swipman Hansen group sticks together pretty good. That's good. They should. Clock's winding down. Another three off target. And the Hornets come back. <laughs> Fouls on yeah. Badger. Yeah, they're pretty, bring up. pretty successful getting the ball down low to their, uh, their tall center there, number 42. Been to the line a few times already, I believe. Yes, she has. <laughs> Anna O'Neill just checked in for the Lady Panthers. She got them both. 
Yeah, they're shooting free throws pretty well. Whoa. And a foul on number four. Yeah. That's what Dunperk, a pretty good foul there. It's a four-team foul on uh, Mansfield. The Panthers are already in the penalty at seven. Well, we got a five-point spread here in the second period. Mansfield 13, Lady Panthers 8. Three-pointer thrown up by... That's Catherine Dunn there. Well, no, no. It's 42 under the... Foul on number 11. It's got to be Whitman, Abby Whitman. Abby for Whitman. first. Yeah, one-on-one. -on -one. She misses the front end. We control the board. Miss Hannah Damon pushing it up. O'Neill with a three, and it's good. She hits it. She's from downtown that yeah, time. She's way downtown. That might have been three and a half, Bob. <laughs> Hit the press, it's cause of trouble. We had a two-point game. Yeah. There and the go. press is causing trouble. Mansfield Kachichi. misses a three. Gachica controls it. Gachica comes down with the rebound. Andrew yeah. O'Neill threw it in from downtown. You watch, they'll have to stop playing her. Because she she's liable to shoot it from up there. Right, Kachicha goes Kachica, in for two. Yeah, nice nice layup. drive. We had a tie ball game with 5.33 left, and the Panthers got a yeah. full-court press going on. Yeah. But, but. Nice run to the hoop yeah. by number 21 of the yeah. Hornets. Kachicha was on her. There was anything she could do there. She ought to foul on her. Uh, Andrew O'Neill. You don't want to pick it up with over. Now you get a three on one. Aren't you? Oh, what you got there? Oh, he called her for a block. It could have been a charge. I agree. Hannah Damon's got two. It's going to put 11 at the line shooting two. Yeah, it's a ninth foul. I don't know. I, I mean, this has scored a lot of their points at the free throw line. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hennigan checks in for the Lady Panthers. She got them both. The break in the action here in Mansfield, the score is. Mansfield Hornets 17, Yale Lady Panthers 13. This production's being brought to you by Whitman Hanson Community Access. And our cameraman today is John Galvin. Three pointer goes up. Oh, Kachicha nice comes rebound. down, moves oh. in. It's good with the for offensive two. rebound, puts it back in. Uh -oh. Kachicha's coming back off yeah. an injury, and she's got eight points so yeah. far this half. Yeah, she's got half play. the points. That's a big play there. Huge play. Like you said, she's coming off an injury and to score eight points yeah, so far. I, I don't. I think this is her first game back. I believe it is her first yeah. game back. Oh, uh, God! A Kachicha nice block. comes up Kachicha with a big block. block. Yeah. Nice. OJ comes down with the ball. Yeah. Panthers are playing tough basketball. Yeah, Danny. they're still giving up offensive rebounds, but. Uh... It's over to Dunn into Hennigan. Hennigan throws up a little. Oh! oh. Kachicha comes down with a big rebound. Andrew O'Neill saves it from going out of bounds. 
OJ throws one up. OJ hits Two it. pointer. Yep. Now we get that press Look back. Tie on. game in. Three minutes and 30 seconds left, and this is tie, 17 all. There's a three point attempt, and, hit and that's good. Number, number 11. 11. It's one of those twin sisters. Well, obviously, you got to watch her from now on. Yeah, they're back in their zone here. It's, it's going up. And O'Neill throws oh, in another boy. one for three. Yeah. Ties the game, 20 up. It's 20 20. Yeah. We're going basket for basket here. She's a three point shooter. It's an air ball. Take it down by Catherine Dunn. Dunn comes down with it. Goes behind her back. Goes right by number 11. Oh, we got uh, a foul on number 24. Fouled. That's going to put him into the. Uh, no, it's only the fifth foul. Fifth foul. Yeah. Oh, they take it out the zone, Buster. O'Neill's got six points here yeah, in the first two half. Big of the two big threes. One of them was from downtown. Yeah, she got a nice shot. Yes, she does. Dunn tries to force it to get and it's yeah, just a good a idea. Bit just, a, just a little bit too tight there. Well, we got a full court press going on here. Oh, right through it. Oh, do a right to her. OJ almost had that. Yeah. This press is giving Ransville uh, a tough time. Oh, yeah. They're working hard. We got working a nice hard. block here. We're working tough on D. Yeah, that's a good defensive uh, possession there. 13, 13, 13. Ball goes over to Cadero. Into Dunn. Into Hannigan. She loses it. Panthers got to play a little bit better uh, on offense if they've thrown quite a few away so far. I mean, it's 2020. We got a tie game with a minute yeah, 32 yeah. left in Mansfield. We get the diamond and one press here. Just scrambling around, doing pretty good. The offensive rebounding is their issue. Nice, Impressive. OJ comes down with the ball, passes it to Dunn, and the Panthers run offense again. But Mansfield gets two shots every time. It's a 2020 game with a minute left they've been in the missing second a lot period. Three-pointer, long one thrown up. Yeah, missed. Dunn comes down with it. Nice Pops play. it in. Nice yep. rebound by Dunn yep. and the Panthers Offensive take the lead. Offensive rebound and converts by uh, Catherine Dunn. Now, her and Gashika do a nice job inside the boards there. Oh, the fouls on Badger. Foul She's on got Badger. two. Yeah, it's going to be two shots now. Their tenth foul. Thirty-one seconds left in the second period here at Mansfield, and the score is your Lady Panthers twenty-two, Mansfield Hornets twenty. <laughs> They have been at the foul line quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Well, we get 10 fouls. A lot of it have been shooting fouls, too. She hits them both. She's got a nice little shot. She yeah. got them both. Ties, Ties it, it up. up. Now, Mansfield's in full court press. Dribble out of there. There you go. We get now you get numbers here. Go go go. Yeah. 
Got Dunn the throws the three up, and it's good. Three, yeah. Number two throws it up. Here you go. Nice job. And we're at halftime here in Mansfield with the score. Yo, Whitman, Hanson, Lady Panthers, 25. Mansfield Hornets, 22. It was a pretty interesting first half. Both teams played really tough, Dawn. Yeah. What do you think was the difference? I mean, well played. I mean, we hit some big threes. Catherine Dunn hit a couple, and uh, Anna O'Neill hit a couple. Yeah, we get the ball inside. Some conversions on some offensive rebounds kind of kept us, uh, kept the game uh, close. We got a three point lead at the half. Well, here we go. I'm Bob Hayes along with my broadcast partner, Don Ford, and we'll be bringing you back some second half action here at Mansfield very shortly. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Well, we're back here at Mansfield High School with a couple minutes to go in the first half. And uh, the, the, the game is a couple more minutes and we're going to be tapping off. But uh, we had a little turnaround here, Don. It's uh, Your Lady Panthers, 25 Mansfield Hornets, 22. Uh, yeah, if though. I could give a recap before we get going, Anna O'Neill's got six. OJ, yeah. Olivia Johnson's got two. Britt Kachicha has got eight coming off of an injury. She's doing fabulous. Hannah Damon's got one. And Catherine Dunn has got eight. Yeah. Nobody, what are you thinking? Well, I think the offense kind of revolves around Kachicha and, uh, and Dunn. But uh, Anna O'Neill's threes, I think, really got him back in the game. They were two big shots because they were having trouble with that uh, Mansfield zone. Maybe they'll, maybe Mansfield will come out of the zone now that they've lost the lead, and uh, things might change a little. Well, I, Olivia Martin, which is kind of unusual, she hasn't got any points in the first half, so she's due to. Well, she got a couple of quick fouls and didn't didn't play too much after that. So yeah, Liv know, Martin had two. She can, Dad just got two. Damon's got two. Yeah. All the rest have one, so. We're coming back for some second half action here. Uh, I'm Bob Hayes, calling the game with my broadcast partner, Don Ford, and uh, we're at Mansfield. This is a WHCA production. We have John Galvin on the camera for us today, and uh, we're working it. So it's a typical tournament game. We got a six seed against the 11 seed, the six seed. Mansfield team with a 16 and 5 record against the 11 seed Whitman Hanson team with a 12 and 8 record. So, uh, yeah, John, I think John, it's going to be Whitman Hanson ball on the come out. John Galvin just said that the uh, Mansfield boys are playing BC High after this game, so that should be a pretty good take. Thank you. This me? For sure, yeah. Okay, and we're back in the action. Yep. Dunn throws it to Damon, and Damon brings it up. Martin's in the game. Martin was sitting a little bit because she got two fouls quickly. They don't want her to foul out, but I think you're going to see some, some big action here in the second half at Mansfield. He's done with Dunn. a long three. Oh, we're going to uh, have a quick foul on... Uh, yeah, Olivia Johnson, rebounding foul. It's all right, though. They need to go after those rebounds. It's her first. And it puts the Hornets on offense. The Hornets have kind of spread the floor. We get a three-pointer that goes up, just oh. misses. We're going to oh. have a foul. I think it's on Martin. No, I think it's on Catherine Dunn, I think. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. True second. But that's, you know, they miss a three and they get the offensive rebound. They're pretty good from the line. Yeah, the 42 has hit a, quite a few free throws. And that's, yeah, she, everything she's got except one is from the line. She's a good shot. She's got a nice little shot, nice yeah, and easy. Yeah. Rolls right through with it. Brings Mansfield within one. But Mansfield is out of the zone. They're playing man, it looks like now. So, Let's see if we can uh, take advantage of this. Yeah, they've come out of the zone. Yeah. 
OJ goes up for one, yeah. misses it. But they get the ball inside, though. It's a decent shot. We get a three on two here. Oh. They can't let this happen. Yeah, you, they got a man up. Yeah, you give up the, uh, you missed the shot, you got to get back on D, you know? The Hornets just took the lead. Yeah, they hit a one guy back. Olivia with the, oh, nice. Who Olivia threw Martin, that in, three. Martin? Yep. I just talked about that. Martin's got her fourth points of the game with a big three. The Panthers take the lead. OJ interest. Yeah, she got her hands on the pass. On that yeah. One. yeah, she got her hands on the pass. Nine seconds left on the shot clock here for the Hornets. Here you go. Oh, we're gonna have a foul yeah. on number eleven. Yeah. Olivia Ma did a nice job there. Held her ground. Took the hit. 5.58 left in the third period. Y'all Whitman, Lady, Whitman Hanson, Lady Panthers, 28. Mansfield Hornets, 26. Ball goes to Dunn. She's going to go to the hoop. But Dunn throws up a three. Just misses. Yeah, but we get a rebound here. Hannah Damon. Damon comes down with a nice rebound. Yep. Gives it back New to clock. Dunn over to Gachicha. Gachicha throws up a three, and it's Dang. good. Yep. Yeah. 31-26. Like That's the biggest lead of the game. We're going to time out here. Nice move inside by 42 in the Mansfield center. She, she's a good player. Yeah, she went right to the hoop. Yeah, she went right around the Panther the defender. Well, with 4.59 left in the third period here at Mansfield, the score is your Lady Panthers 31, Mansfield Hornets 28. Yeah, the big girl for uh, for Mansfield just put a nice move on and went right around her and yeah. scored two points on a nice layup. She went around us so quick, we didn't have a chance to foul her. There you go. <laughs> we had uh, we had 10 fouls in the first half, so we didn't leave any that uh, Britt needed. They're all used up. Yeah, yeah. We got two threes in the second half, one by Olivia Martin, who was the first three of the game, and Brittany Gachicha threw in a three. Brittany had eight points in the first half. Dan Moriarty just walked into the gym for, and Hannah Damon went for a layup and got fouled. Yeah. Two shot foul. Puts Damon at the line for two. This is the first one. Gets the second one. They get the diamond one press. There you go. There you go. It's a... well, that's going to put pressure, but Mansfield able to break at that time. Panthers are playing some tough D. They keep it on the outside here. Clock's winding down. There's six seconds, five. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The force the Panthers are playing a zone now, which, you know, trying to maybe contain 42 a little bit. Catherine Dunn brings the ball up. 42 kind of mishandled that.
Nice, nice bank yeah. shot by Hannah Damon. Movement. Now Hannah Damon banks one in for two. Biggest lead of the game. 34-28, up six. Oh, and it picked off here by Hannah Damon in the press. Here the press has been very effective. Very effective. You can see her driving. Oh, she goes up strong. Oh, there we go. Loose ball. Uh, Olivia Johnson almost comes down with it. That is a travel. Uh, Damon draws a foul. It's her third, I think. It is her third. Mm -hmm. I think See, we I had a last, last time I knew when you when you when you went on the floor for a loose ball and then you stood up while you still had the ball, that was a travel. There's three refs here though, so I must not be right. I don't see any whistle tonight on Yost Jurt, Don. No. But it's kind of the way I felt myself. But we're back in the action with 318 left, and the Panthers are up by six, biggest lead of the game. Eleven's pretty good shot. Yeah. She throws in a three. Yeah, 34-31. Nice shot by number 11 of the Hornets. Three-point game here with the Old Lady Panthers up by three. Here's OJ. Oh, nice drive. The 42 controls the board. Oh, oh they, they, they got ball, the press on. Ball. Got a timeout call by the Hornets, just in time. The break in the action here at Mansfield. 2.44 left in the third period. Score is Y'all Lady Panthers 34. Mansfield Hornets 31. Both teams are playing very tough, Don. You, you've got to say this is tournament yeah. time. and yeah, the They're floor, both they're hustling. Playing hard. Playing hard. Both doing a good job. I guess there's a big game next for the... Um, Boys Mansfield game. boys game at 6.30 here in Mansfield. Yeah, I'm playing BC High, I guess. Should be a pretty interesting game, I would think. Yeah, I would think so. Who's the highest seed in that, BC? No, Mansfield. Mansfield? Yeah. So it should be an interesting game then. It's been a little... Reversal of things here, whereas Mansfield was playing all, uh, all zone, going man to man in the second half, and the Panthers have done the opposite. They were playing a nice, you know, pretty aggressive man. They've gone to a zone. But okay, we're back in the action. So. Panthers called off the press. Yeah. That's a miss, but yeah, you got to play the boards. There you go. Travel. They're waving that hoop off. Yeah. I didn't see it. I thought it was a little bit of a makeup because I thought the uh, rebound got, they went over the back of Olivia Nine to get the rebound, and I think the other uh, official called the travel. Done with the ball. Over to Martin. Martin throws up a three. Comes little up short. a little short. Yeah. Oh, got a foul on 32. Yeah, Reese Cadero. Yeah. Fourth team. Got this foul on number 32, Reese Cadero. Our first person on the fourth team foul. If you remember, the Hornets are pretty deadly from the foul line. They got yeah, a lot, a lot of that, points. They, yeah, they really don't want to put them at the line that much. Here you go, Mansfield miss. Catherine Dunn rebounds, brings it up the floor. Nice little jumper by number 42 from Mansfield, just misses. Throws it over to Martin. Martin throws a long one nice up, shot. and it's good. Yeah. Olivia Martin hits a three. Pretty pretty long one there. That was a big shot. The clock was winding down there, too. Yeah. 
think OJ tipped the ball. Good yeah. attempt, went out of bounds. It's going to be Mansfield ball. 16 seconds left on the clock. Riley Hollow comes in for the Panthers. Yeah, OJ goes out. She's been playing a lot of defense. She's yeah, she's been playing really good tonight. This period's winding down. The Panthers have a six-point lead. Oh, another. Uh, oh, foul is going to be on Martin. Yeah, I, think. I think that's on Olivia Martin. Yeah, that's again a rebound. They're going. Oh, over it's the... on 22. Okay, but they're. Riley uh, Hollow. I don't know. They're taller, but they seem to be going. We get them boxed out. They're going over the top to get these rebounds. Fifteen and thirty-four come in for the Hornets, and forty-four. Yeah, Megan Olivia, Hennigan Olivia comes, comes in out. for the Panthers. Okay. She hits the back end there, so it's uh, 37-32, 45 seconds in the third quarter. Panthers do a nice job against the Beansfield press. And again, throws one up. Nice oh, rebound. rebound by, nice uh, rebound Hollow. by Hollow. Oh. Tries to bank it in. Yep. Comes Mansfield, four on two. Nice little jumper. Yep, controlled by uh, Hollow. Comes Hollow. Down with it. Plenty of time. He had 14 seconds. Play for the last shot. Oh. Almost. Yeah, nice. A nice okay. drive and dish by Cordero. And, uh, it was a good shot, but it just rolled off the front rim. At the end of the third period here in Mansfield, the Joe Lady Panthers 37, Mansfield Hornets 32. Yeah, we've bumped, we were up three at the half. We're up five now at the end of three. So playing well. I think this is about as well as I've seen them play all year. The yeah, girls. they're having a pretty good game. They've outscored them by two points in this period, but the Hornets are playing tough, too. Well, they're good. They're very good. And they're, uh, they're rebounding, if, you know. We gotta, big, we gotta, I think if we can control the boards a little bit, we'll be okay. Yeah, the big girl, number 42, is a real good player for the Hornets. Yeah. She's got, she's got about nine or ten points. Yeah, she's pretty effective. All right. Well, we're going to be starting the fourth period here. This production is being brought to you by Whitman Hanson Community Access. And our cameraman tonight is John Galvin. He is a volunteer, so we thank you, John. He's doing a heck of a job. An awesome job. You can see the stands are already filling up here, and we got a lot of noise coming for the Hornets for the fourth period here. So, well, the Mansfield crowds give them a big, uh, big cheer here to start the fourth quarter. Nice, nice block, block. by Hennigan. Hennigan, yep. That's a big play right there. You need a hoop here. Yeah, yeah. It looks like they're sitting at a zone now. Oh, there's a foul. They call foul on 42. Hit this ball with a full clock, so. Ball's inbounded to Gachicha. Over to Damon, back to Gachicha. They're using some good patience here tonight. Damon throws up a three, it gets tipped. Yeah. Just shot. And the Hornets are back on offense. Tees up a three, that's throws a long shot. one up. Yeah. Hennigan comes down with it. Yeah, she's had a couple big plays here. Gives it to Damon. Yeah. Yeah, the play, back playing man here. Yeah. 
Panther timeout. 6.49 left in the game here in Mansfield with the score. Y'all Lady Panthers 37, Mansfield Hornets 32. Biggest spread of the game tonight has been six points for the Panthers, and we get a five-point spread right now. Both of these teams are playing 100%. It is tournament time. Oh, yeah. Now, Mansfield's uh, coached by, uh, was it Mike Redding? Reddish? He's the uh, longtime football coach, very successful football coach. Mike Redding? Yeah, he's the uh, girls' basketball coach here. You see most of the Varsity Panther boys basketball team here tonight yeah. cheering on the girls. Yeah, that's, that's good to see. I just see Zayden walk in. He was here. I think they're all over there. I know the principal's here tonight, Dr. Chris Jones and uh, Athletic Director Bob Rogers and uh, longtime Panther supporter Paul Carroll is also here tonight. Paul used to be a principal at Hanson Middle School. Yeah, no good guy. Okay, it's going to be black ball with 6.49 left in the fourth period. The Panthers need a hoop here. Big hoop. Need to get a good shot. Uh, Hannah Damon made a drive to the hoop, a little out of control, lost control of the ball. Martin checks back Olivia into the Martin's game. Back in, yeah. And we got a full court press, it looks like, for the Panthers. Yeah, they're, str- they're, they're having trouble with this. Yep. Yeah. They've got it in bounds now. They travel yeah, on nice number four. Good day, Olivia Martin. It's going to be black ball. Causes it to, uh, causes the Mansfield girl to travel. Hannah Damon's bringing the ball up. I think they're going to have to get play with a little bit more. Uh, oh, nice pass. Nice ball. And Kachichi yeah. goes up for two. Yeah, Don to Kachika. Yeah. That was nice. Biggest lead of the game, seven points. Yep. yep. Damon goes to the floor. Number 24 throws up a three. OJ almost comes down with it. They call a travel. travel. Yeah. That's it. The Panthers are playing with some uh, tenacity here. We had a timeout here with 5.50 left in the fourth yeah. period. Mansfield coach doesn't like that call. Mansfield called the timeout. The coach wasn't too happy with that nice. last call. He's back and pretty good at the official. Well, scoring in the second half, you got uh, six points by Livia Martin, five by Brittany Gachicha, and three by uh, Hannah Damon. That's a score in the second half. They're going to have to get moving here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. some of the scores you haven't seen... Uh, Although Cheek, Brittany's got five. Catherine Dunn's been held pretty much uh, well, to zero in the, se- in the second half. She's playing a good half. game, though. She's rebounding. She oh, played she- a nice pass. They're all playing tough. Yeah. They got a seven-point lead with 550 left. The old lady Panthers, 39. Yeah, they just Mansfield got Mansfield Hornets, 32. Tough, yeah. It's going to be black ball. Panthers got a hoop here. Yeah. They need a hoop. Let's get a good shot. Let's get a good shot. Take care of the ball. Get a good shot. Ball goes to Mott to Gachicha. Yep. Use the, use the clock. Move the ball. Get a good shot. Ten seconds left. She throws yeah. up a three. Oh. Martin comes down with oh, the ball. Nice. What a fight. Nice job, Olivia Martin. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, she fought be black for the ball. ball I out. think. Yeah, we put at the ball. Yeah. Isn't there a new clock? Yeah. Oh, it was a rebound. It was a shot. 
Okay. Yeah, foul, foul on 42. 42. That's her third. They're starting to press them hard right now. Ball comes into Martin. Back to Dunn. This over to Martin. Oh. Uh, she loses the ball. Blocked away. Yeah. Fast they break. Got a field runs the floor pretty good when they get out, when they get out Brings there. Brings it to five points. Yeah. Can't make those mistakes. No, we got to get shots. You can't turn the ball over. Instead of getting one, they gave one. 2,000 up the time to play tentative. Now's the time to play basketball, right? Yeah. It's Olivia. She got bumped. Okay. There we go. Two shot foul. It's a good take. 434 left in the action. Thought here, about the three, field. but she put it to the floor and she's going to line. Martin shooting two. That's the front end. Gets the first one. Oh, they just gave the score to the other team. There you go. Little oopsie by the clock, Chris, and fixed right away. Yeah. Martin nice. gets them gets both. Gets yep. Gets them both. We're up seven. There you go. The That's Panthers close. are on a full court press. That's a big couple of fouls. Yep. Can't let number no. 11 just stand there no. and shoot. She's dead she's with him. That's at least her third three. Yeah, she's a good shot. She's a hustler, number 11, for the yeah. Hornets. Yeah. Oh, nice take. Oh, geez. Oh, Guchichi goes in for nice a drive and layup a and just misses. Couldn't finish it. He can't miss those. Nice block by Martin. Another three. And she Falls gets the rebound to her, uh, and goes in for a two. Brings this game to a two-point game. 333 left. Yeah. It's a case of who wants it more now. Yeah, that's a, too bad. She missed a three and gets her own rebound. Martin throws up a three. Shot. Just misses. Shot. Oh, we got nobody home. Now it's a two-point game. Time out, Panthers. Now game. it's tied up. Yeah. 312 left here at Mansfield, and yeah. Mansfield's put the put the pressure right on the Panthers, and Mansfield's Boy. doing a great job. They've come right back yeah. and tied up this game. The get Panthers want to win here tonight. They're going to have to get back on D and start scoring some points. They've yeah. just given up a seven-point lead. Yeah, you turn it over, you miss the shot, you get to turn around and bust your butt and get back, and they didn't do it that time. Well, these Lady Hornets are sure hustling around. They just got a bunch of points. Yeah, it's too bad. What do we have, an eight-point lead there? Seven-point lead Seven. at one point. It's mm -hmm. tied up now with 312 left here at Mansfield. Yo, Whitman, Hanson, Panthers, 41. And the Lady Hornets, 41. I think the boys are playing at Whitman, Hanson tomorrow night for anybody that uh, is looking for some boys action. 630 at Whitman, Hanson, I believe so. Yeah, play at Dedeshama tomorrow night. Well, this is the way a tournament game should be, right down to the wire. Nobody walking away here. It's down to the wire. Get the ball. They, need, they really need to score here, at least get a good shot. You see, they bought the uh, three-point shooting Anna O'Neill in. Anna O'Neill's in the game. Goes to Gachicha. 
Gachicha spins, to gives it to O'Neal. Back to Gachicha. Back to O'Neal. Oh, and we got an offensive foul called on Anna O'Neal. Yeah, it's a little bit of a tough call. Yeah, she wanted to shoot. They get it up in her face, force her to drive. Next foul on the Panthers is going to put the uh, Hornets in, in um, bonus. Got a tie score here. The Number three. four throws a long one up. Yeah, OJ with a rebound. OJ comes down with it. Tie game, 222. This is going to come down to the wire. The Panthers need a hoop here if they plan on staying. Yeah, we do need a hoop. Both we've teams been, are playing been, tough. We've been, we've been 41 for a while. Yep. Damon with a oh, air ball. Now we get numbers here. We got to get back. Get back. They get two on two on one. Okay. We hit the clock winding down here with a tie score. I don't think anybody's got a hoop in about three minutes here. 141 left and winding down. Oh. Nice play. It's going to be Black Hall. Hall. She tries to draw the foul. But the ball, uh, the ball went off the uh, Mansfield girl's foot. It's going to be Black Ball. Well, everybody's fighting for their life right here with a 41-41 and no hoop in about three minutes from yeah. either team. Uh, Anna O'Neill just we'll turned it over. Got upended. Nice, nice play by um, number Reese, 32, Reese Cadero. Reese Cadero saved the yeah, hoop. Yeah, she broke up. A... She definitely saved the hoop right there, and we yeah. still got a... 41 41 with a minute and nine left. Yeah, where's, where's Olivia Martin here? And OJ's out too. I think we got a timeout called here with a break in the action in Mansfield, Mansfield with 109 yeah. left in the Mansfield game. Mansfield timeout. Your Lady Panthers 41 and the Lady Hornets 41. I don't think we've seen a hoop on in three to four minutes. Both of these teams well, are playing. They, they scored a couple to tie it up, but since, you know, we've been 41 for quite a while. Well, they're playing tough. Both teams are playing tough. I mean. Yeah, it's a great game. 41-41. 109 to play. Definitely uh, both of these teams are playing for their next game. There's no question about it. The gym's filling up, as you can see, from uh, people that are coming in. The next game is uh, Mansfield Hornet Boys against BC High. Yep. 109 to play. It's going to be the end of one team season, so. Don't want to hold anything back here. Yeah, you got to put it all on the floor in the next minute and nine seconds, that's for sure. It's white ball. Number two throws up a three, misses. Oh, the, 24 comes down with the ball. Another offensive rebound, yeah. So foul. Oh, that puts her at the line, one on one. Yeah, a foul off the ball with 50 seconds. That's. Foul number 32, Reese Cordero. One on one. Well, if she misses, it's a great foul. Number 11 is a pretty good basketball player. She gets the first one. She's got a lot of points this game. Yeah. The 55 seconds late left in the game, the Lady Hornets take the lead by one. 
Panthers come down with the ball. This could come to a one possession game here. 48 seconds, yeah. We need a good shot. Good time out by the Panthers. 45 seconds left in the fourth period here at Mansfield, and the score is Mansfield Hornets 42, Yellow Lady Panthers 41. Yeah, it's down to the wire. I can see we've been, we've been stuck at 41 for quite a while. Brittany Gachicha just checked into the game. Got 20 seconds left on the play clock and a 45 seconds left on the game clock. So if the Panthers score, the Hornets are going to have a possession for sure. The Panthers are in bonus. So any fouls they commit are going to put the uh, Lady Hornets at the foul line. And they've been shooting pretty good from the foul line tonight. So. Yeah, they've got a lot of points at the line. 45 seconds is going to tell. Panthers need a hoop here. Martin goes in for one, misses. Better get after him. You gotta run the clock. Another foul on Hannah Damon. Yeah, that's okay. She's got so, four. Yeah, but at least even if she hits them both, it's a one possession game. Yep. Hannah's got four. 23 seconds left here in the action. Number yeah. 11, who's a very good shooter for the Hornets, is at the line shooting one on one. She got the first one. She misses the second one. Oh, they get a rebound. There oh, we go. Hannah Damon away. steals the pass. Panthers still have life. We've got 18 <laughs> seconds left. Oh. Coach calls timeout. Damon throws in a three, and it gets waved off. 15.6 seconds left. But ju just before she called the timeout, Brittany Kachika was all alone under the basket. Did you see that? Oh. So we got a two-point game. We got 15.6. It's going to be down to the wire. Yeah. Two ties it. Three wins it. Damon just banked one in that didn't count. Well, that was after the timeout. Oh, but, yeah. It was way after. But um, Well, this is the way a tournament game should be. 15 seconds left. 43-41 doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, it's a good game. Been a real good game. Both good. of these teams are great. They both play in their heart out. Yep, they both left it on the floor. Yep, they definitely have. <laughs> All right, it's going to be black ball with 15.6 seconds left in the game. Whoa. Ball goes into Damon, almost gets tipped to Dunn, to Gachicha. Oh. Gachicha throws it up and misses. Get a foul. Oh, boy. Dunn fouls it with four points. Gachicha had a good shot. Four nice seconds. move, good shot. He's rolled off the front. They can't finish. He'll be shooting one-on-one -on -one with 4.4 seconds left. Number 11. Eleven's at the line. She's really been shooting good tonight. Yeah. Now she hits them both. That will. She got the first one. 
still a one point possession with 4.4 seconds left. Got them both. Well, that's a good, I would say. Panthers are going to inbound the ball. 4.4 4 seconds left. She a foul, no? And that's it. The final score here in Mansfield. Mansfield Hornets, 45. Your Whitman Hanson Panthers, 41. I'm Don Ford. I mean, I'm Bob Hayes and my <laughs> broadcast partner, Don Ford. Until next time. This has been a WHCA production, and we want to thank our cameraman, John Galvin. Yep, nice job, John. Good Bob. night from Mansfield well High School. Well played game by both sides. Yep.